Yeah, I mean, that's a big part. There's a, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Um, but anytime you can add special teams value, whether you're an undrafted rookie, an older guy, it's big. That's a big piece of uh, what we do here. Coach Tobe and Coach Reed put a lot of emphasis on it. So any way you can give yourself kind of a up in the process is big. What do you do as a, as a linebacker, though, that, to get that mentality that I am going to be a poor special teams guy? Yeah, I think it's really, you know, all the mindset of just being bought into it. Um, you know, Tobe talks about that, and uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of a, a mentality, a mindset, just being open to helping the team in, in really any way you can, increasing your value, basically, so. Yeah, he's doing a good job. I'd say he's a really bright young guy. Um, you know, schematically, he's been able to pick stuff up pretty quick. And, uh, you know, I'll give him a lot of credit. Being a rookie, he's been able to kind of play multiple spots as well, which you don't see oftentimes. You know, it's just getting comfortable and getting into things uh, at one spot, and you kind of go from there. But he's been able to pick up the scheme pretty quick. So. <clears throat> Um, yeah, you know, just trying to kind of similar to special teams is defensively, you know, just bringing value anywhere you can, uh, being able to kind of plug and play in different spots. You know, there was a couple games last year where I was playing multiple spots, you know, within the game. We had guys go down, COVID, things like that. So, um, you know, just mentally staying in your playbook, staying up to date with, you know, what we're doing weekly. You know, we make little tweaks and, you know, front adjustments, coverages and, um, not just zeroing in on one position, but kind of being open and, and seeing the whole defense for the scheme itself, I would say. Is, is he challenged you with that, just making sure that you kind of are the utility backup for each and every position? Or is that something that seems to be like something? Yeah, you know, they kind of say, um, don't be a one-trick pony, I guess. So, um, you know, the more spots you know, the more you can do, the, the more it can help the defense. So. Yeah, he's doing a good job as well. Um, him and Nick both mentally picking up the defense. Um, you know, I see this year that he's running around a little bit quicker. I think he's feeling more comfortable um, with the scheme and all that, so it's allowing him to play faster. And he's doing a good job too. It was good to get him back out here today. So, with this being the third year of Spags' defense here, how much have you seen it change year over year? Is there are there new elements this year that, that weren't a part of it last year? How much do you feel like you've gotten to, to soak up in terms of, of him fully bringing his defense? Here? Yeah, you know, uh, every year I think everybody's getting more comfortable in the scheme. And, you know, the more comfortable we are, the more little, you know, tweaks and adjustments and little things he can put in just because, you know, it's not a, a basic, you know, I don't know what you want to call it, level. You know, we're at kind of that advanced advanced level and we have a, you know, a full understanding of the scheme. So then you can, you can add more to it. How much of a, a mentorship role do you embrace with, Willie and Nick Bolton. They are the young guys, and, and you and Hitcher, the grizzled vets of the group, so to speak. Yeah, you know, they both know they can come to, to Hitcher Eye about anything, and, um, you know, both Hitch and myself just try to be open with those guys, help them in any way possible. You know, when we're not in, um, you know, we're still watching, trying to coach, um, give our little two cents on, you know, things we went through picking up the scheme and, you know, things we could do to help those guys grow and improve their game, so. What is, from a linebacker's point of view, what is the hardest thing to adjust to as a young linebacker in this team? Um, depending on what spot you play, I mean, at the mic spot, there's a lot of communication. Um, you know, you got to get everything right with the front, and then, you know, we're kind of the in-between piece between the back end and, and the front guys. So that communication, um, just being good with your eyes, your feet, um, you know, at this level, there's a lot of different pieces that go into it. So, uh, you know, probably communication is the biggest part. And then just a lot of adjustments kind of on the fly when the offense, you know, makes adjustments we got to adjust to. So. Uh, you know, I usually go back to Iowa. So kind of in the same routine. I might be a couple pounds heavier this year than, than in years past, but I kind of have a good routine down that I like. I've, every year, my goal is to get stronger in the off season. You know, stronger, faster, everything. So. How do you think it felt in the first preseason game? Little adjustments. How do you think it made go forward over the rest of the year? 
Yeah, it felt good. Um, it was fun to get back out there. Um, you know, obviously things you can improve on as always, but from a body aspect, it's really just trying to maintain those gains you make throughout the year and, uh, you know, stay healthy. So.